Your mouth is a revolver, firing bullets in the sky. Mm-hmm. Your love is like a soldier, loyal to you, die. I've been looking at the stars for a long, long time. I've been putting out fires for all my life. Everybody wants a flame, they don't want to get burned. And today is our turn. Days like these lead to nights like this lead to love. Right, I have got uh, Faith Hazy Pal L 5.4 Northern Month. It is 2 past 9. My watch actually stopped for some reason. Um, I forgot his name. In madness, something. Anyway, here goes to him. Oh, it's across. Let's put my leg up. I need to take these gaiters off at some point. Um. Oh, there we go, mate. Just in this tripod. Let's put that down there. Don't spill it. Bring you a bit closer. Um, hang on. I do. I want to cross my leg and lean back. So, cheers. And I'm not leaving the campsite. Return to Spade, where it belongs. Return to spade where I belong. My intuition told me to wear gaiters today, so I packed them. Um, thing is, because this is a deciduous forest, it's more moist, uh, moist, moist than a um, carnivorous. But I'm so used to um, in my local woodland. So this is something new. I could, how many days do you reckon I could spend here? Maybe a couple of days, maybe. Or maybe one day. Um, as I said before, my project is to. Um, get the spade and basically um, dig dig underneath that rock and literally sort of get rid of all of the roots and um, flint basically and then the dirt which I'd, what I'll do is put the dirt on the side um, and then compact it back down again if I come here again that'll keep me busy I can't obviously do that I've got to take the tent down the right to do that now I know I've got spade to use um, I think the idea was from the um, digging the fire pit so, um, Emma's got loads of firewood um, Ten pounds for that firewood. So oh, if you spend another day, I was like, <laughs> I've got to go back to work. Um, very nice. 
I'll send her um, the pictures. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have two beers tonight. Um, I've got my head torch ready, which is there. Um, quite handy having the um, external charger. It's got like a little loop at the top, so it's actually attached. So while I'm filming, it's charging it up. So it's quite cool. Um, this tripod will not support. That's why it's not. This is like my head towards a sort of is sitting on top of the um get that a bit closer. I wanna cross my legs so I don't want to knock the tripod over. Because um, I've got the charging port in the phone, I don't want to fuck up the uh, charging port. More money for me to spend. Um, I put up with my auxiliary lead to my phone, to my um, speakers in the car. And honestly, when I put the charger in, it fucking goes, Ooh! and it's fucking annoying, especially when you're going for a long drive. Um, I had a really good playlist on today. Um, I I had the Supernaturalist, I had Bon Jovi, um, Three Doors Down, um, I forgot the other band, um, just. Queen, so I'll just short burst. Um, I need to get um, Gary Barlow some of his songs. I need to get Bonfire Heart by James Blunt, um, some other songs. Basically, uh, I have to do that on my laptop. I tried to do it on my phone earlier, but I thought it was fucking not working. Mate. It's not working. It's like for videos, but I don't want to download videos. I want to I want to convert the YouTube to video now uh, MP3. So. I'll make that my project on my day off. Um, but I've got to get all my shit ready for Tour Bay and Dark more next week. I've got the food ready. Um, I've got to decide what sleep system I'm going to bring. I don't want to overload the car too much because obviously the firewood um, I'm planning in Dartmoor um, to go to a pine forest in um, next to Bella Vitor to get some fucking firewood I mean big chunks like that thick if I can um, and obviously cut them into sections and I'll have to carry um, that with my NATO backpack and um, some sports direct bags and just load the car up uh, really. so that's what I need to do I'll definitely set up a carpet and bear down and I can store the firewood under there. So, I don't know. And the river there. We've got a noisy river there, and the river runs like around. No, you've got the river there, and you've got a stream that comes into the river. Um, yeah, quite nice. I'm looking over there because the moon's the moon's out tonight. So it's going to illuminate the forest a little bit. 
my camera does not do justice of what I can see. I tried ticking the picture of the moon, but my fucking phone won't pick it up. Happy with the tripod, it's not strong, um, but it does do the job for the phone. I think it'd be alright for the um, uh, um, it'll do the job for the Boyo microphone, which I'm going to get. If you've got a, like the phone mount attached, um, which is perfect, and I can exchange that microphone onto the DSLR, which um, I want to buy off a colleague of mine. My colleague of mine? No, it's not mine. Um, off a colleague at work. So my my English is not very good. So I'm trying. I know some more intelligent people look down on me. I'm just like, wow, shit education, mate. I was looking at um this guy's YouTube video, and he done like a collaboration with um, Scott Swan duo. I think his particular sense of humour was sort of rubbing them off the wrong way. Um, I think he's that particular video is a bit anxious so when they fucked off he actually was vlogging a lot better. I think he was being his self more. I think he was a bit anxious. So um part of me in the back of me would like to do I don't know, a wild camp with him. But I don't know him, so you might be all right. I don't know, but the problem is you don't know someone until you get to know. Be particular who I'm friends with. John Drive's a good friend. I need to get in touch with him, but the problem is, back then he was a bit of a fucking drinker, mate, so he was getting, he wasn't taking, not, what was it, he was, it was a bit, back then he was a bit of a binge drinker, so I had to stop hanging around with him, because of that. I can't afford that lifestyle, mate, it's fucking expensive. Starting to get a bit cold. Um, I don't want to put my um, jacket on yet, so I need. I've got to do some work. Um, I need to do the sleep system really. That's my next job, and then I'll do the fire. Or shall I do the fire? I think I'll do the fire first. Then I'll do the sleep system because the fire will ward off the insects. Uh, I didn't get bitten by the horse flies, which is good. They did sit in the back of my neck though. Uh, I fucking hate horse flies. But, um, see where my foot is. I wanna... Hang on. Oh, oh it's nice crossing the legs and leaving back. Oh, opens up the pelvis a little bit as well. Um, I don't stretch, which is not good. Um, I'm not as active as I used to be. The thought of going in the gym again, fucking like, doesn't scare me, but my survival instincts are saying no. <sighs> fucking chain them with a fucking face mask, mate. That's fucking horrific. That's not good. 
it's amazing how things change mate in my lifetime really look I'm making a video on my fucking phone I'm gonna start <laughs> Welcome back. I haven't really eaten much today. Um, it's a bit taxing getting all the stuff here though. I've done a little recce. Um, the actual sat nav took me to the other side of the river. So not very accurate, so might try again tomorrow. There's a moon right there. Which is nice. So starting to feel the cold in my kidneys coming through the chair. Let me adjust the mat. Yeah, I've got two mats, so I might as well utilise them. So if I could put a mat there. There you go. I'm tempted to get the firmer rest mat. Right. A smaller version of my Z light sleeping pad. Um, I normally do the sleep system by now, but I thought I'd do a vlog instead. I've got 57.57 minutes left. Shit. I must have done quite a lot of. Um, lot of yeah, I've done quite a lot of vlogging anyway, so. Um, That's a shame. A limb that going into my external memory. So that's a shame. Anyway. It's fine. 57 minutes and 57. Um, at the end of the month I need to go and get a um, another S micro SD card uh, for Tall Bay and Dartmoor. Um, Depending on how much memory is left on my external hard drive, which I'm trying to upload my previous videos. Um, as you know, I went camping to unlock that. Which I wasn't allowed to. Um, one point, <laughs> saw an undercover police officer in a white. BMW, I fucking shit myself. But hey ho, am I addicted to world camping? Yeah, but it's not just that. It's preparation for it. It's um, physically demanding. Today really took it out of me today. Um, I really sort of like struggled today. Um, I think because I had to set everything up. So if I come here again, I'll pick the same pitch and I'll have the fire pit in the same position. Um, where I've put the fire pit, I can actually put a tarpaulin up which. I can put across this tree here and that tree there and I can have a fire pit there which is ideal um, obviously I need to raise the um, the um, tarpaulin up which is going to be overlooking the river basically um, I don't think I'll come here during a winter camp because of the river. Being next to a river, mate, in the winter, it's a lot colder. Uh, I can feel the temperature difference in the woodland compared to like out in the field out there. So the temperature is a lot. Where's that moon there? Uh, Temperature is a lot less, but my local woodland is 
quite warm in the winter. It's a little blanket. Yeah. I do like my local woodland. Um, a colleague of mine suggested that place. I've been to Becky quite a few woodlands. Um, and that one's my favourite. Whiteley. I could say Whiteley. Um, I hardly go there. Um, it's okay, um, but I'm enclosed. I did do a wild camp there in the summer, which um, was by a field, but I don't really like being enclosed in the summer. I think once I've got a taste of Pinehead Farm, um, I want to go there. Um, that guy I've been speaking to, he's asked me to add him to Facebook, like the group, to give me the exact map location because he's not very descriptive. Um, he went, go towards Fernworthy, and I was like, nah. I didn't have enough time to look on the OS maps because I need to look on um, the OS maps with the um, Google Maps link and then I need to look at Google Earth. You see that? I wonder what temperature is. Our temperature's gone down. I might have to put my Norwegian on. That's because of the um the water source. Ooh. Yeah. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'll make the fire I'll make the fire um process the firewood down and then do the sleep system. Um I do need to eat something substantial, so what I'll do is um I'll have a mug shot. So, really. I don't have anything like stumps or anything to which I'm used to in my local woodland. So I have to make do with what I've got and I can't make stumps. I'm not allowed to touch a woodland. Sorry, Emma's woodland. I quite like her actually. Really nice in person. Very posh. Edu well educated, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I told a little bit about my story. Um, about me going to uh, wild camp. So I'm actually impressed. I'm really impressed with this campsite, mate. Ooh. I'm getting cold. Um, I need to put another layer on. Um, yeah. 57 minutes left of memory left. Fucking oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's alright. It's fine. Let's do another video. Got to split these up because he um, uploaded them onto Facebook as a backup because I, there's so much memory. I haven't got enough memory to store these videos. So, there we go. Back again. Never used to have the confidence speaking to the camera. It's a lot easier when I can see myself. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, um. The partner's gone to Lake District. Good. To, um, a holiday park. Oh. Gunshot. A 
Ele foi. That way. Which is... Point the compass that way. Which is... I can't fucking see. Um... At north... West. West. I wonder what they're fucking shooting. I don't know, probably rabbits, I don't know. Is this? I don't know. Is there an army base around here? They do maneuvers? I don't know. I was gutted I couldn't get any army. I wasn't a real good cadet though. I'm fucking slow mate when it comes to learning. And because of my hearing impairment, obviously it's a lot harder to get information really. Because I didn't wear hearing aids. But I don't think wearing hearing aids and firing a fucking blank is a fucking great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll get wet. <laughs> I remember I was walking, um, I think it was Brecon Beacons, where we were walking up in the rain, and the officers went, I uh, going back to camp. Um, then we went up to Ben Nevis, not Ben Nevis, what am I talking about? Petty Fan, uh, from the campsite, uh, and that was, that was amazing. We had sheer drops on the right, and uh, Doc, uh, Mr. Smelt, which was um, a Captain Smelt, he um, went, looked down, and I went, Oh, he goes, Yeah, you need to be careful, don't you? And I was like, Oh, yeah, <laughs> I love Mr. Smelt, he's such a nice guy. I had a fight with um. What was his name? I can't remember. He had a weird name. He asked me to fight him at lunchtime, so I met him at lunchtime, got him in the headlock, punched his, punched his fucking face. <laughs> and he went off running off. I think he spoke to Mr. Smelt, and Mr. Smelt said to me, Carl, oh, why did you hit. Oh, Ashley Hall, that's his name. Why did you hit Ashley Hall? I went, because he asked me to fight him, sir. Okay. Alright. Go on your way. He probably thought I was a bully. He's like, it's not like cold to be a bully. What a fucking prick, mate. Oh, I could fucking fight you. I'd beat, I'd beat him up. In a headlock. Yeah. There we go. I've packed the wood actually in the land shed. <laughs> I don't want it getting wet, mates. It's dry. Um, there's a fire. That's all the wood I'm going to use. Um, I don't want to waste it. That's enough mate, that's enough mate, I'm going to bed soon. So, there's no point. Um, most of it's cleared away. So, seat system's done. I can't wait to go to bed mate, I'm just knackered. There we go, let's have a little better look. Basically that's set up for my vlog. That's it. Okay. There's my food, which is there. Uh, chicken tikka masala. I'll eat that when I go to bed. If I'm still hungry, I'll have some granola and 
Quite a good footage today, actually. Yeah. Very good footage. Yes. Yeah, I've got oak on there, the hazel, and uh, one second. So used to all of the stuff in amp fields that you try and you have to adapt. So I'm not allowed to use the uh, wood for fire here, so I'm a bit limited. Like um, I don't want to be sawing bits of wood. I did. Use the agro saw to basically make um, the lantern pole, but um, oh, what I'll do, I'll put it against the tree, yeah, did burn it, so it's talking to be its natural habitat, so. Mm. I've got a headache coming. Uh, I haven't eaten much today, so... I've taken the headache tablets. I'll have some more than mine. Yeah. I should have other paper in this pocket here. I did top it up. Yeah. yeah. I prefer uh, one, two left. Okay. I'm going to pause this. I need to take this. I'm back. Well, I didn't go anywhere on the video, but took some headache tablets. Um, I was just thinking, I'm so used to real wild camping because uh, I'm sort of sitting downhill which is not a good idea um, so basically this slopes down sort of this way and that way um, that's why I picked this particular pitch um, because I'm elevated so if it does rain I'm not going to have a river running underneath me. So, um, yeah, so. Anyway, so I'm so used to like getting firewood from the particular location that I'm in, so I'm not caught like literally lugging around like bits of wood. Um, but the stuff I've got under the yew tree, oh, we're coming out slowly. Um, but lugging all of that wood in a wheelbarrow, and then it's lucky I did use a wheelbarrow actually, because it made life a lot easier. But it's just bringing all that firewood down, I mean, it's a fucking chore. Get off my tripod insect. Yeah, so used to like 
to get a location there's wood near the pitch that you want to go but so you want to camp at um, the wood's there you don't have to fucking carry it too far wood's heavy mate um, even pine after like walking for 10-15 minutes it starts to take its toll on your shoulders mate it's like doing a farmer's lift all the time Right, anyway, now that's starting to burn down, which is good. Um, it's time. Uh, is that cold or warm? A bit cold. Right, we've got Neapolitan. I don't normally drink two beers, but I guess you'll catch them. I've missed this beer. Oh, that was a bit of strawberry. That was a bit of strawberry going in there. I'm going to lean. I don't really want to lean back too far because I've, um, I've braced myself a little bit. Yeah. It's like sitting that way, I can lean back a little bit so I'm on an incline, so, yeah, um, I'm trying to figure out where my, so my head is going up that way, so, so I'm sleep, sleeping on an incline, so that's why I picked that particular pitch, um, one that's flattish but it's going downhill slightly, so. I need to sleep uphill. If you sleep downhill, you're going to get headaches. Well, you're going to have your blood pushing to your head, mate. So, yeah. Quite. This tripod's a bit delicate, but at least I can angle the camera around. Um, the camera mount's not very good, though. The gorilla pod better than that, but that's what you get for twelve pounds. I'm not paying twenty five quid for this ten pod. But, uh, tripod I would get for the DSLR is a hundred pounds. Carbon fiber pole. So, get off the glasses. An itch. Hopefully, my tick. I haven't seen any ticks on me in here. No. Ooh. No. Well, that's rain then. Yeah. So, let's do another video. Very tiring today, mate. Eh? Had to start from scratch, mate. That's why I'm tired. I have to be very particular about the underside of the tent. If I carried a robust tarpaulin to go underneath. The uh, inner part of the tent, i.e. the bottom. It's not a footprint, but it's the bottom. Maybe, maybe a bit better. Um, that way, I don't have to worry about the bottom of the tent so much. But a lot, a lot of them roots and a lot of roots and. Um, it took me ages, mate, to get it all done. I've obviously recorded some of it, but it took longer, so I'm tired. 
I'm getting up at 11 tomorrow. So I'll get up at 11. Um, have my coffee. I'm out of here at 2, right, as in, I have to leave this pitch at 2. Um, basically, she said take your time, but I just want, I want to get home, mate. It's a two hour journey. Yeah. And what I'll do tomorrow, get up, um, I need to go for poo. I'll take the firewood with me. Go for poo and then carry the firewood to the car. Yeah. It's fucking heavy that one. I can do it. I've done it before. I used to do it East Grimstead. So, um, I'll just put it up into another bag, I think. Split it up into two. A lot colder here because of the river. I'll be careful with tall bait as well, so I'll have to line the bottom of the uh, sleep pad with, sorry, the top of the sleep pad with a full blanket. I'm not sure if you could pick that up. That's my breath. What's that? Get off my fucking tripod to that. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, I've got some nails in there, so what I'll do tomorrow is um, the embers will be cold tomorrow, so I will um, collect up all the embers and then I have the nails in there, so if, if, if I feel any nails or anything. Um, I will put them in the bin. What the fuck was that on my ear? Bastard. I actually saw two beehives today on this um, land. That's quite nice. That's some really good footage. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm so tired, mate. It's so tired <laughs> setting up. Setting up took ages. I'm glad I didn't put the tarp up as well. Jesus Christ, I even got the little bits of wood for it as well. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, I can see a star up there. There's the clear sky. So tired, mate. That really took its toll on me today. Um, I might go to a local Tesco's here in the morning. Um, I'm not going to cook um, the breakfast, so what I'm going to do as a treat. I type in the nearest Tesco's to here. I'm in Taunton, so there should be a Tesco down there somewhere. I go to a local Tesco's and just get like a breakfast sandwich with Chris and a soft drink. This is a treat, really. Then I won't use the uh, MRE meal. Basically, I'll just have coffees and then yeah, 
idea. So I'll finish here and I'll go to um, the nearest Tesco's tomorrow and get myself that breakfast sandwich. It's not bad though, I need to get three bits of. I think it's two, I think sometimes three. Uh, well, two and a half. Book for some of I don't know what I'm assessing about it, I just can't be asked to cook tonight anymore. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to prepare for the uh, Dartmoor, so. I'm oh, fucking hungry, mate. So, what I'm going to do is put my northern monk under the tripod so it doesn't spill. Come on. I'll put that under the tripod and it won't fall over. It's on my fucking clutz. And I'm going to basically put on my meal. What's that? That shouldn't be in there. Uh oh. Let's put on my meal, mate, because it's getting a bit late. It is. Ten past one. Ugh. I've got uh -oh. this. My dinner. Slash breakfast. Right. Let me pause it. I've got 29.55 minutes left. Ugh, let's not fall out the chair. Let's not fall out the chair. Because if I hit the back of my head on a bit of flint, I tell you what, it's going to be fucking not good. Yeah. Flint. This fucking flint out here is like hard as fuck. There's some granite here as well, but it's just flint. Oh, I want to lean back, but I can't. I'm going to fall out the chair. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about, but do another last video, yeah? I put my food on. Should be fine. It's actually quite hot. But the little shelf that I did, great idea. Um, it's that side, but it doesn't matter where it is on the fire. So, that's it. No more wood on the fire, mate. That's enough for me. That's a good heat, though, as well. At one point, I was next to the fire, and I was like, I smell like uh, I've just ironed my trousers. But there you go. Iron my trousers by the bonfire. I have enjoyed it here. It's just tiring. Burying my stuff down to here, then doing the pack. <sighs> in particular, woodland is a bit harder because of the flints and the roots. East Grinstow is a bit easier because you've got me to the top of the debris, there's no like flint or anything like that. I think they might have dug it up or something and compacted it down there. Who knows? He's fucking. It's a lot of work. A lot of work to maintain a campsite like that. Yeah. I think it's boiling. Let me have a look. Pause. Yeah, so... 
Get away from me, you fucking shit. Why my fucking nose? How dare you? They belong on my nose. Get the fuck away from me. You know, I was a mosquito, I think. Wanted blood. Like sucking fucking pants. I don't know. Freaking out a little bit. On top of my cap here, the light changed a little bit, so this is my peripheral vision. That was an intense drive, though, in. Some point it was easy because there's less cars on the road. It was a bit of an enjoyable drive, obviously. I had to keep an eye. <sighs> on some of the roads I have to sort of look like quite clear so like I can maintain like an 80 mile per hour going down there but it's just getting to the roundabout for me uh. getting in the right lane some people do I fucking like lunatics mate they literally swerve into the traffic I'm so glad that they're fucking away from me. Like, there's like, there was someone sort of hurdling towards me in the right lane. So you've got two lanes. And the thing is, I feel like my eyes are closing. The thing is, uh, I have to move out of the way. Oh, uh, you shouldn't move out of the way. I just want them out of my fucking sight, mate. Because it's just going to cause me to have an accident. I'd rather than call, it's not my saying it, but I'd rather than be called an accident with someone else, not me. I can't fucking be bothered to go through that fucking bullshit, mate, with fucking insurance, not having a car. Oh, I've got a courtesy car, I know, so. Which is part of the insurance, so. Which is good. Honestly, some drivers, mate, they just don't give a fuck about anyone else. That's quite nice, you've got the fire there, and actually you can see the reflection of the fire in the phone. Which is quite cool. Got a big oak on there, which is about this big. Burning slowly. Quite nice. The enders are quite good though as well. Yeah. I'm glad I bought the processed pine actually, that's a good idea. It was an afterthought and I was like, fuck it. As long as I get rid of the nails at the end and get rid of the ember, which I will do. Well, not the enders, the coals. I can actually use the coals for another camp, so. I'm sort of cycling them. So basically I'm making my own charcoal, so that's what I need to start doing as well really. So when I go to Amphield, whatever um, embers are left, I'm gonna take them home with me. That'd be cool. Basically I could build up like some charcoal. There you go. And it'd be lighter as well. It'd be lighter because they have no moisture in them. That's a great idea. <sighs> Tired. Tired, hungry. I can feel the cold, but I'm not cold, so got my jacket on. I'm going to put... Let's put my fleece top on a little bit. Oh, there. That's it. Put the back of my neck. That might have been causing my headache, maybe. 
first time I'm wearing a hat like a woolly hat. So I love I love this Norwegian. I've got two. It's the second, you've got the main stream, and you've got like a book, or yeah, book, which is leading on to the main stream. So, I'm glad I bought this, brought this, um, and I bought this from um, an army surplus in Brighton actually. These are much better than the modern day ones. Just they're built mate to be versatile. They're tough and they work. I used to have like a couple of these in cadets getting warm in the winter. A good good piece of kit. Same as the army softies. Um, So uh, I might wear the army softy trousers because it's a bit cold tonight. So I'm gonna wear the army softy trousers. So I'll have to strip out the the bag again. Yeah, I'll wear the army softy trousers tonight. Um, I can actually feel the cold. Yeah, that's because of that stream. Get yourself a uh, set of army softy trousers and jackets. I would say. Honestly, won't be disappointed. Cheaper than buying down jackets. Right, I've got a last video. That's it. With before I do put on the record button, you've got a preview, but like preview of what it's going to look like. And it looks different, it looks, clo it looks bigger, like closer. Jesus, my eyes are starting to close. I'm tired, yeah, I'm tired. Get yourself on the softies and on the top. Otherwise, you're just gonna buy expensive clothes. If you've got an ember on it, that's a, like a hundred quid jacket gone. Softies, fifteen pound. Yeah, well, probably a softer jacket costs more than that for a decent one. I get that way, I'm tired. Mate. I can't wait for bed. I'm not even gonna watch a movie, mate. I'm just going to literally get chains, put John Todd on, go to bed, not even watch a movie, I'm that tired. I haven't been sleeping very well, been up looking at like, oh, I'm not going to tell you what I've been looking at, this a disgusting habit, I need to, fuck, I need to just cut down on it. Yeah, I could put two and two together. That's ridiculous. I need to have a shave. I'll have a shave when I get back. I'll shave it all off. Wait, take long. I need to be a trimmer for my beard. That'll be it. Then I'll have a shower, and then I'll, I've already set the shower anyway. I'll get back like the time. <sighs> I have central heating, but it costs a fortune to fucking uphold. I don't know. Me finished. I'm not gonna hurry up, so I'm fucking hungry. And that MRE now looks not I reckon it's ready. I have to eat it off my lap. Oh, oh. Whew. 
That was a bit sharp. I think that was a little pretty. I don't know. Good pain now. Do you like a Neapolitan? I like the way it tastes as well. It's strong, but it's good taste. I can't wait to sit that way again so I can lean back a little bit. We're done. Right, end of video. My heart's in a bonfire heart. Bonfire heart. In a bonfire heart. You like to spawn. People like us. We don't need that much Just some one that starts Starts a spark in our bonfire heart